KHU, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you a, a helpful trick for um, PowerPC users for Mac out there. So uh, here it is. This is my setup currently that I'm running. I got two computers going. My main gaming PC. And my trash picked Power Mac G5. That's not in 100% working order. I think two of the RAM slots don't work. Um, and the back headphone jack is shot. Other than that, it's 100% functional. It's quad core, DDR2 memory, liquid cooled. I'll bring up the uh, specs of it. As you can see, we got 4x 2.5 gigahertz PowerPC G5. And we have 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. Version 10.5.8, maxed out on this. Got a 160 gig hard drive in there. But here's a trick. If you want to play Minecraft, and you download... I can open it up. The Minecraft app from Minecraft.net. You'll see you have a nice big no sign on it. And when you double click it, it's not supported on this architecture. So what you do is you drag this one straight to the trash. Go to Safari or whatever internet browser you're using. Open up a new tab. Go to minecraft.net. Go to download. Go to show all platforms and download it for uh, Linux. So once you download it for Linux, go here, pause it. Um, folder or application called minecraft.jar double click that you can see an icon opened up put in my password but as you can see minecraft is on the screen make it full screen no as you can see, Minecraft. Is a hundred percent working. And since I'm in creative mode right now, so I'm just testing it out. As you can see I got all the uh, inventory. But as you can see, Minecraft does work on PowerPC. And it actually runs pretty damn smoothly for this G5. Let's see what my graphics settings are. The fans don't seem to like it too much. Video settings. Fancy, yeah. Everything's on. So yeah, that's... That's the uh, helpful tip for PowerPC G5 users who want to run Minecraft. Now, too bad this, this machine can't run Steam because if it did, this would be an awesome computer still to this day. Because this is a quad core and so is this a quad core. This is a modern day quad core. This is Apple's version of a quad core back then. So yeah, that's it. Um, as you can see, the design hasn't really changed much for the Mac Pro, except they added another uh, DVD drive, another super drive. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to edit this video. It's going to be my uh, video editing and photo editing computer. So I'm going to try to hook up this homemade little flash card reader that I have. I basically took it out of the computer and wired this directly into a USB lead. So we'll see if that works and how well that works. Because I was going to use my PowerBook G4 as my video editing and photo editing computer, but that's not that's my portable one. So when I'm here, I'll just use this guy right here. That's it. Peace out.